Hey, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, my name's Tim, and this is The Timo Show, where I bring you guys along on all my different types of side hustles, and I got a whole bunch of them. Today's video is gonna be a paint job recap. This paint job, this particular house right here, I actually painted nine years ago. And this house needed to be repainted. I mean, the paint job was in good condition, but uh, the thing is, we only sprayed it. Which brings me to this. If you're a veteran painter, and you clicked on this video because you wanna see someone else paint a house, and you, at any time you're triggered by the fact that we're not back rolling, feel free to click off because we didn't back roll because it was per the request. When we first painted this house, the very, very first time we painted it in 2011, uh, we never back rolled. We didn't back roll because the homeowner, which is a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, we've been friends for about 20 years and we've been in bands together for about 20 years. Um, he liked the look of the spray look. He didn't really prefer the back rolled look, so we decided to spray the whole house. Now this time, uh, 2020, when we came back to redo the house, we did the same method. We just went ahead, used a huge fat Mongo tip on my sprayer, and just put solid two coats on the house. Change color, they wanted it great. So that brings me to the fact too about the tip. All the equipment that I use, if you clicked on this and you're curious what type of equipment that I'm using to get these jobs done, I'll always leave links in the description below. It'll be affiliate links for Amazon. And if you click any of those links and buy something, I will earn like a super small commission. It's no extra cost to you, but it does help me out with YouTube because I don't really make no money on YouTube. Maybe one day, but not yet. So with that money, you know, I'm able to buy a new microphone, new headphones, new cameras, stuff like that to make better content for you guys, which brings me to this. I have a new GoPro, so we're going to be adding in some angles. I can't wait. And the reason we have a new camera is because of the homeowner in this particular job. So he's actually helping me out. We didn't bring on any of the crew. It's just me and him painting this entire house by ourselves. Well, we used the GoPro and he wanted to take the card out of the GoPro and get some of the clips because we had one on a bike ride and got some cool video of him like doing wheelies and stuff. So I gave him the GoPro. Well, he called me on the phone was like, how do you take the SD card out? So I'm telling him, oh, you just push it down and it pops out. Well, what I should have said was, you got to open up the door for the battery and then push it down and pops out because he was trying to push on the like, the USB chip where you charge it and he actually kind of damaged the chip so he ended up buying me a whole new GoPro you guys so now I have two GoPros and a, and a bunch of batteries so buddy if you're watching this thank you so much man you didn't have to do that but I do really appreciate it and I'm excited because now I can get all kinds of different angles going on this project yeep, 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 yeep. so if you guys are thinking about starting a paint business and that's kind of why you're clicked on this video here um, I offer coaching calls one-on-one -on -one coaching and what it is is a third-party app it's called FM clarity and this way I'm not gonna make videos like tutorial videos like in-depth on how to start a painting business and stuff like that but I'm willing to help somebody out that is interested in getting started like in a paint business and I've been doing it for about 13 years now and I started out on my own I had a few mentors along the way but it's possible to do it. and I started in 2008 you guys so in 2008 it was bad so I've had to like be creative marketing I had to get myself out in front of people and it worked so if you guys are interested and you want to get started I do offer FM clarity and it's a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching and I'll leave a link in the description below you guys just click that link sign up for a free coaching call and you guys can pick my brain I'll give you everything that I know all my strategies and everything that I did to grow my business to a hundred thousand dollar a year business so with that being said I wanted to talk a little bit about the paint and why I chose to use this paint. Uh, we're using a gray paint, and, and gray is a super hard color to find. Uh, a lot of times when you pick a, a gray color that you're trying to use for your house and you put it up on the wall, it has like a blue undertone to it. This gray here, however, is a Kelly Moore color, and there's it's a true, true gray. So if you're looking for a true gray, go to Kelly Moore and ask him for Not My Fault. <laughs> That's the name of the color, it's Not My Fault. And if you want to do like a lighter shade of that gray that, that blends well with it, just ask them for half the formula. That's a great way that if you find any color, say it's a brown, say it's a green, whatever color you want, if you find a good solid color that you want to use as your body color, but you also want to accent it with a lighter color that complements it, my recommendation is to start off with a half quarter formula just ask them to do that same exact color that you originally started with but ask them for like a half a formula because it'll be the exact same color just lighter and I've learned that it took me years and years to finally come to that conclusion but really it's the best way to get an accent color that is in the same family as your main body color so you can see buddy over there he's doing all the trim on this project this project I'm doing all the painting he's kind of going ahead and doing a lot of the prep work ahead of me which made this job flow very nicely since it was just me and him painting the entire project by ourselves I used a big tip 
on my wand for this. I used a 517 to push out a lot of paint, but on this garage door, I actually used a fine finish tip. And this is what I was talking about, a lighter color. Now this is just the exact same color as the house, but it's mixed to half formula. So it's a little bit lighter. And I, man, I love the way it looks, it looks so good. You can also see that I got a GoPro on my gun here. And that GoPro is because I'm making another video, which is gonna be a how-to video, how to paint doors, exterior doors of your house, including garage doors. Cause I have gotten a lot of comments in the past about you know what type of tip what type of paint what type of prep goes into painting your doors because these doors are metal so there is a little bit of a process to getting them ready and front doors can range anywhere from wood to vinyl to fiberglass so there's several different methods <laughs> this is buddy he's crazy he builds drums for a living go visit him on instagram it's love custom drums and you can see everything that he does he's really a great craftsman he works with wood and he makes some amazing amazing stuff so back to talking about my doubling down on the content on the doors. This door right here spends 90% of its life getting hammered by the sun. It's an east facing door. So this this door gets gets a lot of uh, <laughs> gets a lot of weather to say the least. But I wanted to make a video about how to do it with by hand because not everybody has access to an airless sprayer. And I wanted to make a video on how to paint a door and make it look good because it, there is a way to do it, but you have to be careful because you can really jack a door up, man, if you're not using the right tool. So I have a GoPro on my hat and I didn't include that footage in this video because that footage is going to be for a more of a how-to, a shorter how-to video on how to get your front door painted without professional equipment. So hey, I wanted to say thank you guys for sticking around. I can't believe we made it to 3,000 subs in our first year on YouTube. Man, go back to some of those earlier videos. And it's just, I was so not comfortable. Nowadays, I feel pretty comfortable. And it's because all you guys are giving me so much positive feedback. So let me know if you guys love this content, like this content, or hate this content. Just let me know. And I'll keep it coming. I'll keep content coming. I want to keep you guys happy. And uh, some before and after pictures for you guys. I know they're different angles, but you get the picture. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. I, I can't thank you enough for everything. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Peace.